This is a planetary species exam. All subjects are objects. Survival might be at stake. Work time estimated to too late to avoid 1.5 degrees Celsius global warming. There will be two subjects and multiple choice questions. Pay attention and good luck. It's 2019 and the Mauna Loa Observatory dataset shows as much quantity of carbon parts per million as three million years ago when there were trees at the South Pole. Heath waves scorched the earth this summer. Siberia caught fire and large parts of Greenland melted. Yes, these things happened before, but not at this unprecedented level, not in human history. Then, so much of the Amazon forest was burned that Sao Paulo was darkened by the smoke. Take that in for one moment. Breathe the air we still have. We're clearly not okay as we say goodbye to the first Icelandic glacier that dies because of us. It is humans who are driving the sixth extinction, with habitat loss and species death. So this year, kids have skipped school to protest against the government's lack of action to respond to the climate crisis. Why go to school if there's no future? Its hidden curriculum is sometimes hard to guess. Does it create good citizens, diligent workers, resources for capital, enlightened humans? Whose interests does it serve? There has been much talk about what to do now that the Anthropocene is upon us, and we can't pretend anymore that we're apart from nature or masters of it. Nature with capital N. That's something to protect, right? Something to admire and preserve. The United Nations has proposed education for sustainable development to satisfy the needs of the current generation without compromising future generations. It is a paradigm-shifting education towards student-centered methods that focus on skill building, critical thinking, problem solving, and fostering values and attitudes. The main points it follows are the 17 goals of the Sustainable Development Strategy. How's that going, you wonder? Do these kids at the protest know? Such seemingly lovely goals and no earth to keep exploiting indefinitely. Not even sustainable, tamed, nice exploitation. Can't do schools with the future so uncertain, can you? Can't really go on with development, growth and profit if that's what's got us here, can you? Can't patch up this mess too, make it a little greener, wrap it up and sell it, can you? How does school make sense if we keep putting carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which means that large portions of the world will be uninhabitable and coastal cities will flood and there will be migration, food scarcity, political instability, suffering, death by our own hands, or rather, by that patriarchal and anthropocentric invisible hand. We might still liberate some beings from our mistakes and save ourselves if we change radically and decarbonize society. But not even the school curriculum is decarbonized. History talks of a progressive human constantly enriching himself as if to reach the end of history. Geography encourages mobility without questioning how nation-states have carbon-intensive infrastructures. Schools still separate kids from the world and the world from nature. They teach the human how to be human, civilized, well-read, capable of thinking and speaking. The human knows his surroundings. The human can categorize and name them. The human's environment is there for him to exploit or protect, to use or to admire. It's still for him to learn about or to ignore. It's not a part of him. Schooling tends to forget that we're not those humans anymore. We've never been those humans. We're in the environment, not separate from it. And we're the environment of others.
A. Choose for your kind the answer which you consider most bewildering. 1. Why go to school if there's no future? A. There is a future, and it is this one. Us humans will survive and progress. B. There is a future, but it is unknown. Us humans must learn and prepare for it. C. There is a future, but it is in the past. We must come to terms with it, embrace this world as it is. D. School is a bad idea. Future or no future. Don't go. 2. What is schooling even for? A. Making friends and enemies and funny memes. B. Training competent and diligent workers for a life of capital accumulation. C. Another way to legitimate keeping the rich rich and the poor poor. D. Creating and refining the model human being, master and knower of the world. 3. Can you imagine schools to look just as they do now in a society that's undergoing the sixth extinction? A. Yes, rich people will go into their cozy bunkers and won't care about the rest. B. Yes, we can teach being animal just as we teach being human. C. I can imagine, but I want to imagine something better. D. I refuse to imagine this present. Another present must be imagined for the future past for beings and non-beings. 4. Should schools face the idea of a world without us? A. The world was and will be without us. Ignoring this is make-believe. B. Schools are for people, not animals. C. Humans created schools in the image of man. Now they must create schools in the image of being. D. Schools should face all the difficult ideas. Kids are not to be shielded. This is an emergency. 5. Why am I asking questions you cannot answer? A. Time is precious and I am feeding on yours. B. My voice is beautiful. I love to hear it. C. I want you to feel beyond what you can comprehend. D. The house is on fire. B. If you consider the following affirmations to be true, do them. If you consider them false, undo them. 1. All earthlings are kin in the deepest sense. 2. Our species should be de-schooled, education bewildered. 3. The climate crisis forces us not only to act, but to try to exist differently, with otherness, with non-humans, with and beyond ourselves. You are being scored right now. Your species and particularly the capitalist industrial patriarchal system is being scored. Your score is unknown. We aren't just wondering. We're just kidding. Of course, there's no testing in the climate crisis. What's there to test for? Hey, you. What would your preferred answer be if you'd be taking this test? Write your answers in the comments and let's get ideas going. Share the video with one action we can take in the climate crisis. We'll make more videos. If you like them, support us. And fight for ecological justice. There is no planet B, so act now.